I would Good say just by some of those from what I just cannot see that. He snapped Pacquiao's head back. Pivoted and still knock you out and hit you with any punch from such strange angles. Yeah, but already you can see. Advantage to Cotto, but he's beating him right now with the jab. Body shot by Cotto, or excuse me, by Pacquiao. Left hand body shot. Cotto ducking and slipping. And now tries to get a body shot in on Pacquiao. Cotto is just as fast. And he trades with Pacquiao. Downside by the time Pacquiao got it. Yeah, but Good left to the body by Cotto. Now Pacquiao. Three punch combination, Pacquiao. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. Cotto will keep going there anyway. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Cotto just physically a bigger guy. Now Pacquiao starting to... He's going to punch so far. And he's going to see if Pacquiao can take his stuff. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. But Cotto can take the punch. He's not being knocked back. Good body shot by Cotto. Slugging with him. Plus the footwork gets him into position. Oh yeah, to he, land. he bounces off his tops. Very good. He was rushing in. Manny landed a little right hook in there. That's and right. follows up by knocking Cotto. Pacquiao beating Cotto to the punch now. No blood. Three hard body shots for stop throwing. Cotto lands his jab. Now when Pacquiao throws, Cotto goes into a little shell. Because of all the speed he's seen. That's Manny's rhythm to go in and out and punch on his Left hook counter by Cotto landed. We've seen Cotto in these situations before. And he comes back. Pacquiao getting hit in recent fights. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Remember. Great reflexes and time. The can see is all over this that very few fighters can see. That's why he lives a lot of his fights. But he got knocked down. It was one of those perfectly timed little punches, which man is known for. Flurry of punches for Pacquiao. Pacquiao against the ropes. Freddie Roach thinks this is a very bad idea. Cotto pounding away. At this point, he's catching every punch that Cotto throws. Well, the reason he's taking a breather. Bigger, but they're not known for being physical. He may have gone to the ropes to let Cotto throw, thinking he could counter him with something big. Now so. it's Cotto who's back is against the ropes. And he fights his way off and goes down. He's hurt by that knockdown. The left hand that caused the knockdown. The right hook yeah. helped, but the left landed right on the jaw. Punching it from all angles. The right hand does not have the striking power, whereas Manny comes from all angles with power. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Up, 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 bring him up, bring him up. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head up again. Pacquiao was stunned with a late knockdown. Here again, he's winning the round, I believe. From that second knockdown. To me, even though he's doing good, he still seems to be a little bit on the shaky leg. Jab from an angle to score that. Now there he goes again. Weird punches from weird angles. He can assist standard punches. Straight left hand lands Pacquiao. Cotto backs off again. Cotto just misses with a big left hook that would have done damage. Pacquiao peppering one with punches. And then some. And Cotto is beginning to retreat constantly. And he almost went down again. Left hand shot by Pacquiao. And Cotto tries to finish the round. And lands a thudding right hand. Four rounds to two, Pacquiao, but Pacquiao with a four-point lead. Hard right hook by Pacquiao. Like a machine warmed up from all angles. Uh, is he better than Henry Armstrong? Well, Armstrong is a yeah, volume. Uh, to me, I, what I'm saying, Armstrong was a volume impressed. puncher. He wasn't a knockout puncher. Out, him. He hit him with a draw, a controversial draw when he fought for the military title. Against a Filipino fighter named Seferino Garcia. Madison Square Garden. That yeah. was a different kind of fight. Well, but he, even he landed it a few times. Because he can hurt you with punches and not even stand up punches. And, and when Cotto... Tactical retreat. Absolutely. Just as he was in the late rounds against Margarito. Decision to just box is yielding better results than, than the earlier firefight. But now Pacquiao's backing him off again. Got him against the ropes. Tries to end it with one big left hand. In the 11th and 12th rounds, probably this fight wouldn't be taking place. 
Cotto almost landed a big left hand shot, but he glanced off Pacquiao's cheek. Pacquiao gets right up under Cotto's chin. Uppercut. Cotto backs into the corner. He's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Holding on. He can't, he can't, he can't hold this now. He can't see the punches coming. Trying to counter. Reddy's been pretty good at this. Huh? If they're thinking one more, then this is the time. You should do it one before. Against a traitor. Harold, your numbers are academic at this point. Give them to us. 88, 81. The privilege to go out on his terms. What would the result of the fight be? He said Pacquiao would still win. For the kill now. Pacquiao is looking for KO 11 right here. Cotto still fighting. Um, we're we're the, the end of the fight. Sure. Don't say you have to doubt he'll ever be great again. And Miguel Cotto's father, Miguel Cotto Sr., wanted to stop the fight and was talked out of it by the others in the corner, including head trainer Joe Santiago. Now, Kenny Bayless does his duty. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman. Hurry up!